there picking teeth with a pen. All right, tell me when we're ready. Stop it! Well, you're picking your teeth with a, a big ink pen. Oh, my... You knew I got the camera! Yeah, but you know what? You can tell me when you turn it on. You beat all I've ever seen in my life. You know that. All right, think about what you did. You beat all I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> That's what I said. You beat. You beat everything I've ever seen in my life. You Over yinner. Over yinner. <laughs> Everybody! I'm Randy. Hello, Randy. I'm Amanda. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to say really quick that the lady who is taking our orders now for the tiny house is Angie. She's fantastic. And she said that she gets uh, told all the time, she's from Tennessee, she's living in Texas, but she gets told all the time that her voice is annoying. <laughs> Tennessee women, voices are They're annoying. Annoying. They're so annoying. Yuck. Yeah. Yeah. Poor Angie. I love talking to Angie today. Me and Alyssa did like a conference call and I'll let Randy take over from there because we got a few changes that we wanted to let everybody kind of know about. Yeah, it's kind of how to place yeah. your tiny home order. Yes. Uh, in the title we couldn't put at Incredible Tiny Homes in Newport, Tennessee in <laughs> 2019. <laughs> so what, it want, what we wanted to go, first of all, before we start, I yes. want to say thanks for tuning in and watching what we're doing and being curious about all this stuff. What they're doing over here behind us, they're hauling, they're loading tomatoes. Mm -hmm. All right, we got a loading dock, and next door to us is this commercial tomato farmer, mm -hmm. a great guy. And uh, so we give him a portion of our loading dock every year, yeah. And so they can load their tomatoes and get them out. So their pickers are bringing them in, they switch trucks and go. Yeah, that's what the noise is in the background. Today, we've got a oh, right here, we got a big old load of two by sixes right here. You guys can see. And um, so we're excited. A whole tractor there, try to load. There's a big you load. got more wood here. That's mm -hmm. where your money, you send us your money for a house. That's what we do is we buy the materials. Yep. Underneath the lean to over there, it is full of water heaters, toilets. You name it, we got it. I'm yes. spending your money on your house and getting your stuff here. That's right. So we're excited about that. Um, right on this area behind me are our trusses, our arched trusses. We've rented two pieces of equipment tomorrow, so I'm not going to have to use my forklift like I climbed up on a 35-foot <laughs> cliff or forklift on a telephone pole yeah. and sat <clears throat> all those. That's a 32, 33-foot high truss. Doesn't look like that high from here. Oh, it's very high. But here. tomorrow, uh, the crew of six guys that have been, four of them been building the trusses, two of them been cleaning and loading and getting everything in the containers out from behind the building. Mm -hmm. We are so excited. So now we're going to do is we're going to bring that building another hundred feet. So all them tiny homes will be moved out of the way, swept clean, everything set up. We got to anchor some wood on the concrete so we can fasten our trusses to the ground. It's exciting. Big stuff, everybody. And we're doing it for a fraction of the cost. Yep. So in those trusses, I've got guys that work two weeks, plus the wood on the trusses and putting it all up. A hundred by a hundred foot building, 60 foot wide, 30 foot ceilings. We're trying to get in, I don't know, I haven't calculated it all, probably less than $30,000. So all the, um, they're, they're all gonna go up, the arches are gonna go up Saturday. We're, we're getting ready tomorrow, uh -huh. laying them all out, getting them set up, getting them ready, and we get our machine in there, stand them up. That's gonna be awesome. So we don't know yet how it'll Exciting. work. Exciting. They're, they're finicky trusses because their only strength is when they're vertical. When they're horizontal, they're real weak. Yes. So we've got to support them until they get up anyway. Boring, boring stuff. Well, I'll probably pop on some just to show that process a little bit because I think everybody would be curious to to see it. And I'd oh, like man. to show the very first one that you raised up. So maybe we can get that on YouTube yeah, you tomorrow. You showed me a picture last night. Yeah, so maybe me and Alyssa can get that put on there tomorrow. Yes. Man, you look back at these. It's oh. been one year and we're building another another 100 feet. Unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. One year we've been here, everybody. And uh, didn't know how we were even going to survive. Yeah. And we're, we're making a dent in it wow. now. Yeah. But I want to say thanks for tuning in. Mm -hmm. Hope you enjoy our show. And we're going to fill you full of information about tiny homes, about our system and our process. We're going to show you how to order a tiny home mm -hmm. through our website. But first of all, I want to read this card to you all. This is a card from a, a customer of ours. Uh, she bought a house a couple years ago. Well, when I first started this, I was so frustrated with tiny homes in the financing, which I still am frustrated with the financing. Um, I I came on and I I 
sang a song and just, lean on me and I sang, I sang that song and it was my title song to my lean on me financing and uh, we had two people that we financed and uh, both of them have completed their financing mm -hmm. with not a glitch everything was fine and I had gotten so many people that just were so against me doing that it stimulated us because they were able to give us half down and then they half they financed the other half of their home for two years <clears throat> it worked out perfectly mm. i've got a letter from a lady today who gave her last payment and she's now paid in full two years later she owns her own tiny home and uh she just wanted to say hello randy i just wanted to extend my gratitude for your trust in me you gave me a home and since I've received this wonderful home, parentheses security, my life has changed tenfold. It all started with your Facebook videos. And from there, it took off. You have continued to grow and change your dream and have helped so many people. Again, so again, thank you for giving me a chance. Because I can't say I can't say thank you enough. California Red. And it says, paid in full, yippee. Yeah. And I was like. That's awesome. When you get a house paid in full, everybody, you talk about security. There's not too many things in life that can be too secure in this life. What do they say, death and taxes? Mm-hmm. When you pay a house off, man, that's about as close as you can get to something that's just rock solid, you know? And that's why I'm proud of selling these houses at 15 grand, you know, starting out. And, and I, you know, I've had people come, there ain't no way I'm gonna stay in a house that small. Well, you know, and I understand because you don't have to. Mm -hmm. But when you have to have a home, that's a mansion. Mm -hmm. And believe me, we've all, we've been there. Yeah. And uh, so mm -hmm. I'm proud of that. And then, and she has a nice home. So we had another lady that paid hers off a while back. Um, but thank you, Kathy, for believing in me, mm -hmm. you know, in our home. And we, we it was a mutual agreement. But I had so many people against me doing that. They're gonna rip me off, they're mm -hmm. not gonna pay, and all this stuff. And and what I did is I did a I did a character reference from some of the people that she knew, that knew her. Um, I just talked to them. Well, they actually, uh, they hand wrote. Letters. Randy requested that, and that was a big deal. I wanted handwritten <laughs> letters from people that knew mm -hmm. them. And I wanted it to be intimate, that you, know, you physically wrote a letter about this person. <laughs> That might be pie in the sky, but you know, I thought, you know what? No, there's, yeah, there's, I believe there's more honest people than there are dishonest. And to, and, and just to add, it was not money that was laying around. We didn't have the money. Lord, no. <laughs> no. I needed her half to get yes. going, and so there was no profit in no. there at all for us. Mm -hmm. But it was able to just give us a job to keep going. And it, it was you a know? chance. And I'm hoping that with all this progress, that we hopefully we can continue and we. Hopefully, we'll be more successful. That I would like to create our own financing, you know, and help people. You know, if you need a year, we'll finance it for a year, or mm -hmm. finance it for 18 months, or something like that, you know, and not charge like the exuberant rates of uh, of interest. Why? Mm -hmm. We want to build homes. That's what I want. I've always said it from day one. I just want to build homes. I sold a guy today the Hobbit door. Yeah. For a lady. A lady come today, I, I was real impressed with her. She's from New Hampshire. She's a carpenter. She's a, I mean, a full-blown carpenter for 15 years. And she's got a boyfriend who's a, not so much a carpenter, but a hardworking guy. And so I'm thinking about maybe seeing what can happen with them in the future here. Um, but she looked at that round door, and she was amazed by it. You know, she says, wow. And I said, you know, that round door first cost me $3,000 to build. But now I get it down to where it only costs a thousand bucks. Right. And she goes, oh my God. I said, yeah, what I try to do is like, okay, you might want that door. I can sell it for a thousand. I won't make a lot of money off, probably break even, right? But you bought a house. And that's how I feel about a lot of things. I'll put things in there that may cost somebody three or $4,000 to do. I'll build it for cost because I want to sell you a home. I just want to build a house. That's what we want to do is build a home. So, Thank you. Isn't that a cool success That's story? Very great. I got that today, and I was like, "That just made my day." You know, she, paid she has her house to be off. so excited, and she she's a worker too. She worked two yeah, jobs. Yeah, she is. She's a worker. She yes. was on it, 
Uh, we were, had to replace a door for her, mm -hmm. um, which we did. Took care of that, some things. Everybody, beautiful house. We stand behind what we're doing. Congratulations. Yeah, we stand behind it. So thanks everybody for believing in us. What we're doing. We had a <clears throat> we had a famous author come by here today. We did. And it was so awesome. And uh, he signed a book for us, and he's maybe a tiny home. We should have showed it. It's in the... Well, I, I guess, Africa. you know what I thought about? I thought about doing I thought, well, we don't want his name out there, but, but I don't know why. He's on Audible. He'd probably like to have it. He is. He's on Audible, and he gave uh, Alyssa a copy, and he gave Randy We'll show the copy tomorrow, then. Yes, we'll do we'll that. We'll show you. Great guy. Him and his wife Wonderful come by here. Wonderful people. He's a, a Wall Street Journal... What, he, what was it? Uh... New York Times bestseller. Bestseller, yeah. yes. So, but we'll tell you. Um, he love. They love this place. Him and his wife love. Yeah, it. great, great people. That's kind of mm -hmm. cool to have him here. He, he was like, he goes like, I can't believe I'm, I'm looking at Randy Jones, a YouTube guy, and I was like, What do you mean you're an author? You're an author. I'm just a look at me. Oh. <laughs> I'm nothing. Um, but I'm a. I like my nothingness. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Place in your order. If you want to place an order. What is trying not to make this a long process, but this same information we will be putting on our, our, our website. I'll be doing a video so you can, you know what, maybe they want to see some of them, Amanda. Yeah. Well, I can't see the comments if we go there. Oh, okay. That's, I can go that way if we do it like that. Um, I know you all get tired of looking at me, so I'm trying to always think about what's behind me all the time. Um, I always wanted to do our tiny homes because we don't charge a lot of money, everybody, and you know that. We're, I mean, we're half or not more uh, less money than everybody in the country. So because of that, we're always looking at ways of downsizing or, or cutting our overhead, all right? So I can't have a million people answering phones and, and what we're running into, and I understand this, as a customer looks at their website and goes, oh wow. I want a craftsman, and that's when we get an email. I want a craftsman. So what do we do that as a company? Well, we're gonna have to call. I gotta pay that person to call you. And then you're talking, oh, I look, I look, and that's fine, we can talk, but that person's costing me money to talk to you. And so there's a balance there, because we wanna talk to you. But that's why I'm on online today, and then I'll do a video on our website, is to kind of help you, educate you all, mm -hmm. and how you can help us and how we can help you. So we can keep our costs down, so we can be efficient, and we can give you the information you need. So, on our website, we're trying to include everything on there that you need. You can go to our website, and you can look at our gallery. Now let's say you wanna know what, how much that home was, or what, what style that is. If it's an RJO, we got styles. Now you don't have to stick to our styles. So we got like three or four different types. You got the RJO, you got the Freedom, you got the Craftsman, and then you got the crazy out there custom, right? And a craftsman can be a custom, but we got somebody like today, they wanted wild stuff. I said, I love that stuff, right? So let's do it. Just be a little more specific. And then go to our website, even though we don't have every single thing you want. You're gonna say, yeah, my budget's $40,000. Mm -hmm. What can I get for $40,000? You go to the website and you can look at an RJO. You could probably get a 30 foot RJO for $40,000, if not more, right? Um, you go to a craftsman, I mean, you go to a, a, a Freedom, and then you're going to be maybe maybe a 28 foot, maybe a 24 foot for 40,000. Look at that, a 28, 26 foot. All right? And then, well, I want a, I want a um, craftsman style home. You may get a 22 footer, 20, 22 foot, because there's more volume in it. But that gives you an idea of what kind of home you're looking at for that amount of money. And then you may have these all these crazy ideas. I want a pantry. I want an extra. I want upper cabinets. I want a round window. I want an accordion staircase. I want a regular staircase. I want the movie star staircase. I want painted. I want stained. I want trim. I want metal. I want siding. I want this. All of that information. Not all of it because you're always going to ask questions we don't know yet. That's why we evolve into this. But we go to the amenities page and you can pick it out. And I got a price on it. The majority of the prices are there. Some are to be to be determined. But you are going to get within a 10% of what that house, house is going to cost you. Mm -hmm. So if, you're, if your budget's 40 and you think you got a $4,000 margin, probably up, yeah, I know you can come down, but going up, then you got, you know, I'm in the ballpark. And then you can say, you know what? Now I've got, now oh, I can call somebody. Mm -hmm. And now I can say, you know what? I'm in the business. 
I have my money, I have financing, I'm ready to, I know what I'm looking at, so I've educated myself. So what I'm trying to do is educate you guys. So when you go, it's like when I order parts for my truck, I go to the parts department on, my, on the internet and I look at them and it tells me what year it goes for, where it's out on the truck, what it's used for, whatever I gotta do. And I can look at all that and I click and buy it, right? And so I'm learning it. That's what we wanna do here. Now what, why we're wanting to do that is because we can be more efficient and we can be more productive and we can keep our prices low. This is a new business for us, even though we've been in business four years. You know, the first year, I'm just building homes. You know, little me, Tom, Joseph, we're just killing it. You don't even get into the process until the second year. The third year, you're trying to survive. The fourth year, you're trying to put it all together. And now we're in the fifth year, you know. So it's always changing, always evolving. I never knew it, but Ford Motor Company, GM, Ferrari, all of them change constantly. Their protocols and how they do things, okay? So what I want to do is I want to be not so much called a wholesale builder, but we really are. If you guys think about it, our homes are wholesale price compared to anybody in the country, right? Any questions? Okay. So what I want to do is have you guys go to our website. We're changing our website. We'll probably in another month or so have a new website. It'll look the same, but a ton more information. So when you go on, and maybe you might uh, go to doors, right? Or you might go to countertops. You can go to countertops, click on that. It'll have variations of different types of countertops that you can select from. And it'll have a price. Click. So you're actually building your tiny home mm -hmm. off of your wish list. Now, we're not going to have everything. But we have had people call in to so, so our salespeople. And they'll say, hey, how much is a 16-foot Freedom, let's say? Okay, we give it to them. Okay, well, how much is a 18 foot with, you know, a door on the side? Okay, well, wait a minute, well, what's a 22 foot? Oh, and, and by the way, if we could, just go ahead and give me a 28 foot by nine, and then, no, 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 I, you know what a big, so we've got five yeah. estimates over the course of a week or two in about probably 15 hours of work, still no decision, and all that information can be obtained by you all yourself sitting in front of your computer that's what to me i don't like calling people i don't like email i don't like waiting for a, a bid go on there add it all up right now our our um, website does not add it all up for you you have to go on there you have to click you may have to hunt and peck a little bit but we have a lot of information on there and that's what i'm saying it'll give you that 10 percent. so if you get all those answered and you go back through 600 different videos now we're starting to title them for you so you can help you, hey, I wanna see, oh yeah, they're doing wiring or plumbing or finishing or siding or whatever it is. We're trying to help you with that and I'm sorry we didn't start out that way. And then Facebook, a couple 300 videos so you can educate yourself. And of course, if you go to any competitor in the United States and look at their videos, if they have any, and their galleries and compare them to what we're doing, you can see the difference, you know? Um, and hopefully, and there's great builders out there. There's awesome tiny home builders, and I think they're doing a marvelous job. And and we're all out here to get your business, right? And I will never put anybody's down, because I, I think there's some great guys, or girls too, building. So um, that's what I'm trying to do. So we are gonna form this website that's gonna be more workable so you can place an order, mm -hmm. okay? So that when you place an order, then we can have somebody call you. But really, to everybody, I know you may not have the finances to buy a house right now. You're gonna say, I want it in a year from now, or I want it in six months, or I want it in two years from now. That's fine, we'll wait for you. We hope to be in business and mm -hmm. forever and buy it, and you guys buy it from us. But you don't have to really discuss anything with anybody because you got your price, you see what we can do, and you can kind of dream with our pictures and what we do in our videos and see what we're doing, okay? Right. So, but when you're ready and you've got your finances in order and you try to answer every question you have, because, like, again, I think everybody wants immediate answers. Like, my God, if I want a, a 504 window, if I want a picture window that's another, you know, a whole wall like the Texas house, how much is that going to be? I want that on there for you. Now, we don't have everything on there yet, but think about this. If you see my videos, 
We don't hardly char charge anything for a picture window. Mm -hmm. And so you're going to say, well, <clears throat> the way it looks, there's that 10%. I got a $40,000 house and I want to add a picture window in it. It's not going to be 10 grand. It's not going to be five grand. It's not going to be two grand, right? So it's not even going to be $1,000, this picture window. So you're still going to be within 10%. And I'm just kind of playing with that number. I think that's high. Mm -hmm. You probably would be even less probably within a couple thousand dollars of the estimate you'll come up with with the information we've got on the website. And two, and we have some new people in here and I just want to uh, just jump in really quick and say that we do have a website that we've always had a website, <coughs> incrediblettinyhomes.com and it has all the information on there and we do not charge for estimates. Someone said that it says on our website that we charge for estimates. We don't charge for consulting or estimates, never have. It says that on our website. That someone, uh, somebody said that, so we'll just... It's never, I mean, it says right on our website, we charge for estimates. That's uh, the first I've ever heard that. I know, I hadn't either. But we do have a website, but we're wanting to change our website and to make it more, to have like a, um, Alyssa next week on the website that we have right now, she is going to put an estimate sheet on there, what you would actually get from one of our sales representatives. And it's so you can, you know, play with it. You can put in the numbers and everything like that. But we're going to put at the bottom, before you submit it, we want to make sure that your finances are ready and you're ready to order. It's yeah. called place an order. Yes. It's what we're going to do. Yeah. Sometimes we have to go through four, three to four hundred people. Yeah. To sell one house. Correct. Right. And that's fine. Mm -hmm. But we're trying to expedite this. Yes. And we're trying to help you all. So when you're wanting, you're thinking about buying this house <clears throat> for your daughter, for yourself, or for mm -hmm. your mom, or for anybody. Right. <clears throat> and let's say you don't have the answers. Let's say I, like my mom. She's 93, needs a little bit of handicapped stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Hey, this is where I'm thinking. I got this much money. I'm thinking about a design. You know, I've talked about handicapped homes. It'd be great to go 10 mm -hmm. foot wide. Let's go a 10 foot wide. So you got a 10, eight and a six or whatever it is, you know? You got prices for every one of them. Things. And two, and think about your budget. You know, you know yeah. what you have. Yep. So just kind of look around and just kind of just think about it. And some things that you don't know, just put to be determined. And it's determined by if you're ready to build, then you can, you know, talk with them and they'll they'll place your order and get you a price. Alyssa, uh, she's the office manager. She's the management in there. She's the final say. She'll look over the estimate and give an absolute final price that your um, salesperson will send to you. And that's for you to sign. Yeah, exactly. So, and like so I think that'll work great. Yeah, so we want you to have quicker gratification yes. knowing that you know the price of your home and that you can play around with all these designs and all these amenities. Mm -hmm. We do not have every single amenity, and we probably never will. But that's what a website does. It grows and grows and yes. grows and grows with information. Mm -hmm. I think it's okay. great. We're excited. We talked to people today at the um, sales, and they're excited. So that's. I think it's going to really work well. Yeah. And to me, that's the fun part about being self-employed, mm -hmm. is owning a company like this. I enjoy the challenge of what this has to come with people, how we're going to figure this thing out. Um, I, I don't know if I shared with you yesterday, there was a couple come in here and they want a, uh, a Freedom House, and they want, a, they want it to be Mad Hatter, right? Yeah, that's exciting. And she had to meet Cute. me. Yeah. She said they have to meet me. And they want, and I love that. It's fine. Some people have to physically come here and touch and feel and smell these homes. Mm -hmm. And she said, I want a Mad Hatter. And she pulled out this Mad Hatter, a real one. Mm -hmm. that was a, like a costume Mad Hatter. And she pulled it out and she had this costume that was a, a suit coat, mm -hmm. with all the crazy colors that, um, who's the actor? I forgot. Uh, Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp wore mm -hmm. in the movie. And so she's telling me and I'm thinking, how can we do this? How can we do this? And so actually the reverse stoop that we have right here yeah, over the door. And those are over the door. Those are little gables, right? Little gable triangles. I told her, I said, you know what would really be cool? What if, what if we built a Mad Hatter hat out of iron and sheet metal for a door stoop? That, that's awesome. What a she, great idea. She passed out on the floor. <laughs> and that was it. She loved it. And then she has these weather vanes right that are mm -hmm. the rabbit and all that stuff we're going to put Cute. on the house and maybe some stuff on the side walls of the house of the Super mad hatter things so stuff like and then colors we picked out i love meeting with people i love meeting with you guys i love the 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 difference in personalities that we want to give in these homes uh the author that was here today he came and he said we're going to do something outside the box awesome. and i said let's go man i want to do something really crazy and he said something you've never done before i said 
bring it on. Yep. That's what we're about. Exactly. Right? So we're about that. We're about getting you a home for fifteen thousand mm -hmm. dollars, all right? We're about getting you a home in that green one over there, yep. base price of twenty-five thousand. And then we got this one right here with the thatch roof. That's about seventy thousand. Mm -hmm. That's gorgeous. Maybe we walk over there. Yeah, let's walk over. And we have got an update. Randy's got it in his back pocket um, about the beach. About how many? Because we didn't know this last night when we were talking on YouTube. Yeah. Pam wrote this down for me. She for did. Man today. So, and right now, we've got five beach residents that just came in, man. It, and so we got five in the residential part of the beach. Mm -hmm. We've got two in the investment part of the beach and possibly three more. And we'll confirm that with the owner tomorrow. And we're almost positive. We're probably about 95% sure on yeah. that. If we do, that'll be 10 out of 36 homes in the beach are gone. Mm-hmm. Awesome. That's amazing. <clears throat> 10. 10. 10 at the got, beach. We only got 26 gone. left. So that means for the forest, Randy, Yeah. we have... So what happens is it opened up the forest, right? Right now in the forest, believe it or not, everybody... Uh, well, that's everybody loves the forest. Yes, <clears throat> we have one definitely confirmed lot open and available. Mm -hmm. Watching the phone lines are hot, they're <laughs> ringing. We possibly may have three more after tomorrow's discussion. Yes, all right, so five, five, yeah, because um, remember the, the guy that came his um, his dad, we've got okay, we've got five. All of him. Mm -hmm. I thought that was the one. Oh, the one and then the four. Okay. Mm -hmm. So there possibly could be five. Now, they're, they've they already put their deposits in, but they're going to put their deposits um, maybe in the beach or the prairie or switching. Right. Or they need, they had things happen in their life mm -hmm. and they just want to have somebody replace their deposit. Right. Okay? Exactly. exactly. Right. That's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. So the beach is exciting. We may have 10 confirmed by tomorrow evening out of 36. Mm -hmm. So that's going. Um. Let's see here. Out of the out of the 68 lots, 44 homes are being built right here, and most of the other 24 homes are probably going in there also. They just have not confirmed their their home yet of what they want built. Yeah, is that not cool? That's amazing. I'm hoping we got 36 more right here mm -hmm. that we can put in. So that's our update. That's exciting. And the beach already it could possibly it's definitely confirmed seven is already coming and then three more it's possibly 10. It's only 26 lots left at the beach. That was just this week. That's amazing. Great. That is exciting. This is the beach. You Think see about the... it. The forest and the beach be gone. Well see how the concrete's cut out? Yes. And that's similar what's going to be between every single house. Look how thick this is. And if wow. we put evergreen stuff in here and tropical yeah. plants, it's all going to be lush and tropical. And, you know, I'm going to put some regular great. trees in here and some bamboo and all that stuff. So. Oh, it's going to look great. I mean, if you just go by, of course, like you've said uh, before, uh, brotherscove.com, where uh, that you created, and it's absolutely yeah. stunning. And then now to see the forest, how with everything with the trail walk around and all the lots, you know what the beach is going to look like. It's going to be awesome. I get so excited. Like, Yump's been digging out there today yes. on the you know on the trail that we're going to have. Mm -hmm. Ah, I just want to run out there right now and show you guys and the now, trail. It is so, so cool how it goes down uh, Red Cedar. No, every, uh, Jack Pine. Jack Pine. goes down Jack mm -hmm. Pine and connects to the trail and then winds all the way through. And we cut another road through the park it's great. so we have a central park love it picnic tables and stuff like that bought little fire pits you're gonna have back in there you, everybody's gonna love it here and then this right here everybody is a beautiful home that i designed a couple years ago and um <clears throat> it was sold to a lady i wonder could we peek in I yeah let's see if it's I open i think because i'm not on wi-fi i wonder if i can uh we just want to see the changes of it now this is a tall tongue box yeah right and inside here is a stackable washer and dryer. Wow. Tankless water heater. A little bit of storage. Uh, your panel box, your electrical panel box. Everything's inside that. But look how pretty that is, Amanda. That is gorgeous. Tell me, you guys. Listen, I'm trying to point this out. Look look at the shingles, how they're overlapped. 
right? Beautiful. This home's been two years, two years old, been sitting outside. Look at it. Love it. This is leaving tomorrow, sad to say. Yeah. We're very sad to see this go Going again. Going to a great lady. She's been fabulous to work for. We yeah. remodeled the inside for her. That is one special home. Beautiful. Yeah. And this is a second, this is a, a, a second twist on it. Kind of, yeah. you know? Yep. I don't think she'll ever sell this home. Oh, this, my To God. me, this is a heirloom. And you it know, is. the art, what is the, uh, Thomas Kincaid? Yeah, Thomas Kincaid. was really my inspiration because all of his portraits have them big thatch Cottages. Roof, cottage yeah. looking. And that's what I kind of wanted it it's to beautiful. emulate. Yeah. See, you've got the squeak. I know it does. Oh my goodness. It's got murky beds, got a tiled shower. No. Oh, name it. Oh, is it got, it's got the murky bed in there, right? Yeah. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Thank you, little signal. Let me try. You can do the spinner thing. Oh no, I hope not. Oh, wait a minute. Let me show the door, uh, the barn door. Oh, this one? Yeah, let me show that while I'm down here. Well, they got it fastened. Oh, so they already got roll. it fastened, don't they? Yeah. Well, look how pretty. This is like live edge barn wood. And this is real red that came out of the barn. Yep, real red here. And actually, the kitchen cabinets are to match. Wow. The distressed lumber, she, she requested the distressed lumber, the barn wood trim, everything in here. She just lost her mind. It she said, we gorgeous. crawled inside her head. It said, well, is that's better than crawling in mine. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah. Let me try to get up there. If I lose you guys, I'll I'll get back out before I can get back on. I'm going to show the bathroom just really quick. That's the stackable washer area. Oh, my God. And look at that tile floor. That's a wood-looking tile. Let me show that. That's where the stackable. And that's in the tongue box. I think it's a great way of saving space. There is the shower. Oh my God, it's so pretty in here. There's storage. Plenty of storage with the closet. Look at the shower. The big beams you got in here. Look at that with the bears. And you said they were numbered and it makes a, a creates a story, right? Yeah, a little pattern. And then the closet to the left of the shower. That is so pretty. Wow. Isn't that cool? Oh, it opens two of them like that. She can hang her clothes. Isn't that pretty? Love it. And it's got a sink. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to show the bed in the kitchen. And it's got this little cabinet. Uh huh. You know. The kitchen is your barn wood doors, mm -hmm. drawers, all this. Yep. Barn uh -huh. style sink. Gorgeous. I'm going to move that, huh? I know somebody left their sippy cup <laughs> or so. And then, and then right here. Let me look at Randy. Wait a minute. Oh, let yeah. me hold on. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, it's beautiful. Gosh. So. The step. That was the first time ever on the stairs. Yep. She loved them because they reminded her of a rock wall. Look how pretty with the fridge and everything in it. Oh, wow. Guys, share this video if you would. This is gorgeous home, man. This is so pretty. Yeah. We do have a video of this. I think it's, we've done one. Is it the, is that the Ikea sink? Yeah. It is, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 24 inch farm style Ikea. Yeah. Look how neat. I just, I know I keep hey, showing this it. this is probably yours, Aunt Amanda. This here. It probably is, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure, Randy. Um. Wow. That is beautiful. Barnwood, shall we?
Oh my goodness. Okay, so now we're ready. I'm gonna see the, look at this bed. Ah! Oh my goodness. Stop it. Isn't that cool? Stop it. Done. Stop it, that's This is beautiful. what I, I really love a Murphy bed. Ah. You can still have two chairs and set them sideways if you had for your living room. I'm in love with this. Lay down. What size is this house again, Randy? 10 by 24. Beautiful. Oh my goodness, Randy. I love the Murphy bed. It's so good. The other one had chains and it was gorgeous too. Yeah, we put a little platform here and that's a shelf. That's a shelf. With the platform to rest it on. Look at that, guys. The mattress stays put. Done. Can you pull it down again and back up? Look how pretty that is. And I had her pull this down too. Wow. She can stain the bed if she wants to. Yeah. I know. Look at the headboard. Yeah, it's butcher block. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Ah. And then over here is a nightlight. So mm -hmm. if you're laying in bed, and you want to go to the bathroom, you can just hit that little night light and yeah. it'll get you to the bathroom. Oh my goodness. It looks beautiful both ways. What? It's really no, uh, you can't compare the two. It's like you love both of them. Yeah, that nice. is, a, look, and that looks like a piece of art. So she can sleep upstairs and that can be for company. Yes. That's beautiful. The upstairs is big. Remember on the um, when we first decorated, you put the TV underneath there. Yeah, the way I had originally made it, it was a TV here. Mm -hmm. Then you could pull this then you down. Pull it down. Let's say you you don't want to go to bed, but you want to lay in bed. You put another TV there. <laughs> yes, that's a great and idea. You still can do it. That's what that plug is for. Is for another TV. Oh my gosh! Do we have a price on that? On what? The Murphy bed. I think it's this twelve hundred dollars. It's a queen, isn't it? Yeah, it's a queen. Queen size. I think it's. Thousand twelve hundred dollars, uh, something like that. Scott put his vote in. He said that he liked this one better, and that's cool either way. You know, um, you guys, I think what's really something to think about is if you get an RJO and you get a 20 footer, which is twenty thousand dollars, yeah, 20 foot, you can put this Murphy bed sideways where the head of the bed is this way because we mm -hmm. got 88 inches, and you can pull it this way five feet. So if you're at a, you're if you're at a twenty foot uh, RJO, you still got another five feet before you even get into the bathroom and kitchen area. I know. Look how much room this place has got a lot of room. This is a first for us. Rob did that. Yeah. What would they be called? God, this I guess we'll call it the climbing steps. Oh, Alyssa said the Murphy bed starts at $2,400. you are way 24? off. 24 $24. You're way off, Randy. Yes. <laughs> I have no idea. Alyssa does all the pricing on here. They they talk about it and get it on there, but there's so many prices and everything, it's hard to remember. And I don't remember any of it. And that's why we got that amenities page yes. to help you guys out. Yeah. I mean, this is custom built. Look at that gorgeous thing. Yeah. It's all reclaimed. It's, it's figured over the fender. Okay, so yeah. you have to notch it over the fender. You have to buy the mechanism, build the mm -hmm. frame, the do a headboard, wood, the headboards, the trimming it out, and the stops. Yeah. That's cool. They even put something in here that's for the mattress, right? Yeah, that comes with the queen. She had a, a single she just put that's in there. That's great. Yeah. I love it. Can you do a quick walk up there to show the upstairs yeah. really quick for those that's not seen this? You have to hold it. Yes. I should have handed it to you for you so you can get up there. Oh, no way. No, no way. Way. And what size is this fridge? Someone asked. 10 cubic feet. Okay, 10 cubic feet for the fridge. Wonder if I could come really, really early and decorate this. Just this part. This part in the bathroom. You know? I just put a few things and take some pictures. I have to. I'll get a hold of John and see whenever he's coming. Here you go. 
go, Amanda. Okay. People were asking questions. I don't okay. know what they were saying. Well, it's stunning. I absolutely love this house. That's what uh, Lynn Lowe just said, stunning. She just said that. Isn't that pretty? Somebody said something about custom made or not custom made. Huh? Let me see here. But. Nice. And we'll do a full video of the one that we, uh, we have a 34 footer going to California. Yes. And we're going to do a video of that decorated mm -hmm. up. You guys will love it. It's this model plus another bedroom. Right. Yeah. Beautiful. Love it. We got to see it. Yeah, we held signal. We did. So, yeah, I like this. You got a coat closet now. Yeah. Mm hmm So, have your coat closet. Kick your boots off. Put a uh -huh. shelf or something there. Then you got another full closet in the bathroom. Mm-hmm. I mean, this you is got a the home. pop ladder. This is a complete livable comfortable home i just have to show this countertop one more time look how pretty you know look if we show this man on your way out yes um we'll come up with this idea okay right above your head oh yes this right here is sheet metal oh that is right and it's all rusty I can't, um... And we just polyurethane it. So come out, now you can come outside and you can see yeah. it better. Oh, there it is, yeah. And see, we had, to, see how we had to cut it? I couldn't make it all the way around the other side because it would hit. That's so cool. So we had to put a little cut on that thing. I love that. So it's a piece of sheet metal. Yes, if you look back, you can see it's got a little awning over the door. It oh, and it, it matches somewhat. perfect. That is neat, isn't it? That's what I want to make the Mad Hatter hat for the couple that wants that theme in their home. Well, that looks great. We'll make a Mad Hatter hat yeah. gable in to get underneath. It does, Dana. Dana said it looks huge in there. It's only a 24 foot. It's a 10, 10 by, by 24. 10 by 24. I think she's getting a 10 by 24, isn't she, or something? No, she Dana. One? Uh, Dana's is a 18. I can't remember. Hers is little. She bought one. She yeah. got one. Okay. I think hers is a 14 foot or something. Well, Look how pretty. That's it, man. It is going to be sad to see this go. We really wanted this to stay during the jam, but, you know, it's got to go. I guess she's hey, ready. She's for ready it. for her house. Yeah. That's great. Wow, look at that. You can see the. Beautiful. Isn't that pretty? Up. There's a lot of room. Think about them homes are 30 foot apart. And they're going to be more than that because we got them a little too close. Yeah. So you got more than enough for two cars between them. Yeah. Some vegetation, a picnic table, a deck, a car, everything oh, out great. here. Yeah. And then you fill it full of trees and plants. Yeah. You wait, everybody. It's just gonna. You're gonna be blah. Oh yeah. The beach is gonna be awesome. Now we over here, and I've been thinking about what I could do with and this. Ev and everybody's curious about the prairie too. So. Well, this is a this is a big hump, and I don't know what this is for, yeah. but it's been there forever. It's beautifully flat. It's a big size, probably almost the size of over here. I actually thought about the other day of putting the lodge there. Ooh, that's a great it's idea. A big restaurant lodge. Yes. Big cathedral ceilings, place kickback, big deck wrapped around it and, and stuff. And you know, if you'll remember the pictures of the Viking house that we took, Randy right put there. that up there on up on top of that yeah. little hill and right it's there. Little, it's the highest point yes. in this place. Mm -hmm. And it'd be kind of cool to overlook everything, you know? Mm-hmm. Love it. And then the prairie's on the other side. Yeah, you can see the prairie back there. Wait till I get time to wrap my mind around that and what mm -hmm. we're going to do. And we're going to theme that out with some Western themes and some, uh, you know. Really cool stuff. Adobe looking stuff. Oh, it's going to be fun. This Everybody, is one of the houses for sale, right? Yeah, this is one of them for sale. This is a 20 foot, 8 by 20. 8 by 20. Yep. We got a little storage in it. Uh, we have the, an as is price and then we'll have a. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yep. And we'll get all those together. Now, I this know. is a Craftsman. Mm -hmm. It's got a custom bathroom. It's got a vessel sink. It's got a tub shower. Actually, you can fill the tub up, and it's a shower, but you can get the water about knee high in there. Really? In the bathtub. Yes, bath, bathtub that's shower. right. And then the rest, and that's from the window. Probably this part back is all bathroom. Mm -hmm. And then from here, it's all open to do what you will. I tore everything out of it. I gutted it. Um, 
So. And if somebody doesn't buy it as is, can you kind of tell the plans you have for that where there's not many windows and stuff? We can add anything you'd like. Yeah. You know, it's got a heating and air system. It's, re you know, it's a, a fully on grid right now, the way it sits. So I think the way it sits is probably 25,000, mm -hmm. the way it sits. Yeah. Now that's an eight by 20 Craftsman on a Craftsman trailer, the whole deal. That's it right there. Yeah. But we'll remodel it. We're going to maybe fix it up and oh, I'm going to, I'm going to tear into it if, if oh, somebody yeah. doesn't, you know. It'll look great after it's remodeled and yeah. stuff like that. And then over here is heading out is the Betsy Zitch's house. Mm -hmm. It's going to be heading out. Yeah. And that's been awesome. That's been a big deal for us, you know. Yeah. Because that oh, was the first house. really freedom home that we did. It was 10 by 18. Mm -hmm. Our, was it 10 by 20? Yeah. Right? Yeah. So. 10 by 20. I'm just, We're good. Can, What's going on? Can we peek in there really quick? Yeah. <laughs> just, because some people, uh, especially on YouTube. I um, forget about, nobody's seen YouTube, these YouTube, some of these have. Uh, some people's not seen this. Well, we're on every day, everybody. So we, I keep forgetting there might be somebody that hasn't seen. Yeah, exactly. Because we got some new people. Are you asking me to help you up, man? Let me show the floor really quick there. Okay. There we go. Refrigerator there, and then I love this big window. That is my favorite. I uh, not the same house, but a big window in the kitchen. Oh, now that takes it. away any shelving, but man, the light you is. Look I love it. Yeah. And of course you got your big, here's your bed. You know, your big bed pulls out and flips. This one had a lot of new stuff. This was the first pattern of this floor. Um, it was the first of this great big window was, well, yep. over the set, over the kitchen. I think over the kitchen it was. It was, over the kitchen it it's was. It's an little $15,000 house. So it's like that and just boom, blow it up. So you got all this space. See how much space there is? Like man and I can both walk. I mean, you're talking a full, probably 45 Look how inches. Much room. Yeah. Two people can pass by here real easily. Love it. The barn door. This is real barn wood right here, everybody. This is it. Um. Yeah. It's got a compost, big shower. Beautiful. We got the, I was going to show you the steps. Um, it's like might be able to pull them out for you. I think this is the first. Everything's locked up and ready to go for, yeah. for transporting. But we did this with an accordion step. It was just, uh, it, it fit this situation yes. perfectly. Mm -hmm. You know, we pick this up and pull this down. And there's steps to a platform to go up into the loft. Yeah, and then two, here's this one. Which and that pull extends. Out to step on, right? Mm -hmm. That extends your platform area. Wow. Here. That was yeah. the first install of accordion steps that yeah. we did. I love these things. Because then, just put them back. And the ladder's fastened for, for transport right now. Yeah. And Rob built a cabinet for it. Lock that thing down. Mm -hmm. Put this up here. I mean, it was super custom specific for the car. It took a lot of thinking. It did take a lot. A lot of moving parts. And then when and, that's up, mm -hmm. and this ladder's for this loft, yeah. but then this flips up. And this was. And those legs pull out. Oh, yeah. Made her a beautiful table. She loves this because she can sit, she can have dinner. You can yeah. eat over here, or she can have her Do laptop, her, her desk, or anything. Mm -hmm. And then if she wants to, she can sleep downstairs. You can sleep on a, this is a sofa with cushions, mm -hmm. or your TV over here, or you can have this as a full-size bed. And what this does is this flips over. Mm-hmm. Like oh, something I meant to ask, is the bed, is the sofa bed secured to the floor, or can they be moved? They can be moved. Okay, I thought so. Now, this one's secured for transport. Mm -hmm. But it can be moved. But it can be moved. Yeah. And upstairs. That's a double dormer. Let me back up here so you can see so it. there's two dormers. Now listen, this is like the Craftsman, but it's a hybrid. So we call it a Freedom, mm -hmm. right? On a Craftsman, on a Craftsman trailer, trailer with an extra dormer. And that's why you can go to our amenities. You can add all these things. I know. 
Say, hey, I want a Craftsman trailer. This is how much it is. I want an extra dormer. This is how much it is. And she loves this house. Yeah. Loves it. Don't blame her. No way either. Beautiful. Mini split, of course, comes with these homes. Mm -hmm. Anything from a Freedom Up, this is standard. Floors, everything pretty much. One dormer on the Freedom. Extra dormer for uh, for an extra dormer, it's extra. Mm -hmm. But all the windows, the finishes, the wood, the barn door, the showers, the cabinets, everything is standard she price. She it too. Look at that, that's so rare. That's great. Yeah. Love it. This is a 10 by? 10 by 20. 20. Is it just 10 by 20? It feels bigger than that. It feels huge. This is the size of mom's. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Yeah. No. Beautiful. Love that window. Let me get a side shot of it. Look how pretty that is. Me? <laughs> yes, you. Of course you. Yeah. It does, Lynn. It looks bigger than that, and it feels huge in there. Man. Beautiful. I love it. I never get tired of looking at these things. And look at the prairie over there. I mean, it's pretty. Every section you have, they're all different, but they're all going to be That's really my pretty. Total vision for this whole place. Mm -hmm. Forest, beach, prairie, all different. Things. Very distinct areas. Yeah. yeah. You guys are going to love living here. You're going to love visiting here. You're going to love renting here. You're going to rent your home here. You may personally want to come here and just stay a few nights with us. Yeah. As a, as a resort or a weekend or during a week. Yeah. I might even get ordained for four marriages, man. What you know you what? I think you should. Yeah. Oh, everybody'd love to get. Um, we talked about that. You remember years ago? It's like, oh my gosh. I'll marry people right That's there right, in the factory, exactly. and stay in a tiny home. I know. My daughter had said that years ago. She said, if I ever get married, she said, I want Randy to marry me. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be cool. So we're gonna have an environment for people, and then behind the t behind these tinies, that's what's gonna be cool. It's like a little farm. So pretty. Right. Mm -hmm. With a big. I thought about putting the lodge there too. I don't know, big barn, and we're gonna have animals there. You know, just and oh, uh, you had an exciting thing. The guy that came in the bright shirt. Do you oh. want to tell that? Can we? You, you want to go walk up? Yeah, look don't at tell it? him. Just let's right, walk come up here. Let's okay. go over here. Up where? Stop it. Where are we gonna walk, man? Up far. Let's go up far. Man, we got a reputation. You know, people are sending us thousands of dollars. You can't be acting like a hick. <laughs> All I know is B is a hick. I don't know another way to be. I don't know how we make any money around here. Oh gosh, I wouldn't send us a dime, and I, I mean, wouldn't. I'm, and I wouldn't watch this. Man, I'm pure bona fide. I can tell you oh, that. Oh, sugar. Yeah. Whatever. Look how pretty. <laughs> Becky Newell, she said, "Country hick is the only way to be, Amanda." <laughs> if Amanda could, she'd be barefoot right now. Oh, I would. Barefoot, not pregnant. Would that not be cool right there? Have a big lodge? Yes. And glass all the way around it and overlooking everything with a big deck around it. And stuff. Oh, yeah. That'd be fun. Look how pretty it is. That'd be super And right fun. there is where the uh, the Viking house was. Yep. So, if you see the pictures of that, Randy and Tom drug it up there. Oh, my gosh. Up where? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> You're not new. <laughs> You're not new. You're not new. You know how I talk. Look at that. And here is the road down through there. That's awesome. The tree line. Yep. And there's the prairie, everybody. That's it. There's the prairie. Beautiful. What I want to do is come in here. Mm-hmm. You can go this way to the prairie of the forest. You yeah. This, I mean, the beach of the forest. This uh -huh. way you go to the prairie. Beautiful. Yep. And look down this way. I want to put picnic tables out here. Mm -hmm. Place. This is just, look at them big oak trees down that line. And then, look at our street sign. You ready? Right this happened now. today. Da, da, da. Can you see it? Not yet. I want to be a surprise. Oh. You get over with it. Look. Look, everybody. Tiny Town Way. Look at that. There you go. Ta-da. Yep. That's great. That is awesome, isn't it? That is We got to move this. Yeah. Incredible Tiny house. Well, you know, we'll move it over some. But look at that. Tiny town way, everybody. That was put up today. Yep. So you come in, Randy, so pretend you're a car. Well, uh... <laughs> As you do every day. 
<laughs> so I'm driving. Uh, I'm in Tiny Town. Okay. And we're gonna put us our our guard shack kind of thing here. We'll probably move these fences and make it out wider. Put our guard shack right here. Guard shack right there. Boom. Boom. Just a little bit wider so they can have get around it. You check in. Hello, may I help you? Welcome to Incredible Tiny Homes in Tiny Town, USA. Yes. How can we help you? <laughs> well, I've got a reservation in the beach at uh, lot number 22 for ah. this evening for three nights stay. Let me check. check yes. Check, check. Where are you from? I'm from Denver. Well, Carry so and so's from Denver, too. And do you know what they did last week? <laughs> <laughs> And then, then that guard know? shack person is oh. heading to the lodge. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they're going to have AC, heat. They're going to have dinner. They're going to have a TV. Oh, God. Free They'll be food, watching everything. They'll say, wait a minute, I'll check you in a minute. Yeah. So -so, they're watching the stories. You know, they're getting ready. Somebody's about to do something. Lord. And then you go over here to the prairie. Yes. So you go behind the guard shack, whip around. And then what I want is the prairie over here. And I'm gonna have fun with that. It's gonna be some sound of Western Prairie theme that you'll go through. Maybe even some different shops over here. And every place I want to have a place that they can run their animals, a dog lot, and then of course everybody, you'll pull into Tiny Town Way right here, right? Yeah. Now, if you want to walk, you're gonna walk down here. You go to Tiny Town Way. You'll turn right on Jack Pine. Now, asking really quick. Is this Tiny Town Way and this is Tiny no, Town Way? Tiny Town Way goes this way. Oh, so that is Tiny I'm Town Way. Put another street sign right here. Okay. Because this is just a service drive. Okay. So Tiny Town Way comes in and turns right. Okay, comes in, turns right. Yeah. Tiny Town Way is right there. Isn't that there. beautiful? There, there, there. <laughs> and then you can go through <clears throat> through the forest. Mm -hmm. On the back side of the forest, it's a thousand feet. After you get there, it's another thousand feet to the end of the forest. Mm -hmm. Then you go about another 700 feet to the back of the forest. Then you come back through another thousand, zigzag through the forest, back behind the shop. Mm -hmm. Then you can walk all this way behind the shop, all along the, the railroad tracks, mm -hmm. over to this corner here. And there's be a road with the gravel you can walk. Beautiful. And it comes all, along, all the way behind the prairie, mm -hmm. right? And up through here. And that's one loop. I bet it'll be a mile. It sure looks like a mile. It does look if like a mile. If it's not, it's darn close. Mm -hmm. So you all can walk this four or five times a day, get walking in, get running in, whatever you'd like. Walk your animals, everybody. And this is all self-contained. And 90% of this whole development is fenced in. Mm -hmm. Okay. The only part is the forest. And we may continue this chain link fence after we create some more revenue. Right, exactly. And pay for it. Okay. That's awesome. Great updates. Awesome. You know what? We've taken two nights to do this. Mm -hmm. There's just so much going on here. I love it showing is. you guys all this stuff and the people that come to visit us and use some homes. We got some under construction. You guys are waiting for homes to be built. Believe me, we are expediting these as quick and as good with the quality. Mm -hmm. I'm walking through there. You wouldn't believe how I look at all the everything that's going on, checking what's going on. So I have my hand in all of it. It's, so does Tom and a few other guys that we've trained that's been here for a while for us. And I, I love that Marianne just said, walk the tiny mile. That's it. That's walk so the tiny cute. mile. Yep. Yep. I right. won't keep you anymore. Have a great night. I'm Randy Jones of Incredible Tiny Homes. Subscribe to this channel. Hit your bell so you can know when we're coming on. Tell everybody about our video if you would. Tell about who we are, where we are, what we're doing. And uh, we'll see you sometime. Maybe on October 12th, you come to the jam. That's right. All right. Bye.